Hello everyone, it's Kelly here again and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to March of the Robots week 3. So I, first of all, let me just apologize for a quick second if I sound a little stuffy. I am actually battling a cold and um, yeah, my nose is just not cooperating these days. Anyway, let's get on to this video. This is still March of the Robots. Yes, I know we're in April right now, but I got caught up and I didn't have much time to record everything and draw everything in March. So I am extending it into April, but I feel like if I keep keep this up um, at the right pace. I I think we'll finish all of them by the end of April, which is great because May has its own challenge and that is the mermaid challenge, which everyone is probably going to do. I see everyone do it every year. Honestly, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. These monthly challenges are kind of a struggle for me just because I don't really have the time to draw every single day. And even if I do, there's just no way that I can record it, keep the recordings and then edit them all in time. So what I did with my robots is I draw sketch out one day i draw them out the other day uh, while recording and then on the third day i try to edit it and um, upload it when i can the problem with that however is that it that each month only has like four or five weeks usually five weeks but sometimes it just the way that my schedule is set up it ends up uh, being like four for me so um, that means that I have to draw like seven things every day, which is very, not every day, sorry, seven things every week, which is time consuming in itself, but recording seven things, I mean, this, this part of the March of the Robots was two and a half hours of footage, which honestly, I'm very impressed with myself because I finished editing it just now and I edited these two hours two and a half hours for like 15 minutes which is awesome for me because I'm such a slow editor <laughs> and um, I guess it's just a lot easier when you cut mercilessly and you will notice that I've cut out a lot of the footage mostly around the shading area and I've cut out all of the inking because honestly I feel like inking is very I don't know, tedious and it's a little boring to watch so I just start with the sketch and then jump straight to the ink illustration and me starting to color it. Hope you guys don't mind if you do, I'll try to do the, I'll, I'll just try to include some inking in the next ones but I did notice from my last one especially that the inking takes out a big big part of the whole video and I just, I wasn't happy yet. <laughs> I, draw these ones so like i've mentioned in the previous ones which you can find either in the cards or in the description bar down below um i have names instead of props so my every day i oh you know my uh, daily robot has a name and the first robot that you see me draw is raymond and he's really really cute i really love how he turned out at first i started with these big wheels and this kind of um reverse jaw and then I give him shark fins and I think he looks so cute I just can't and I didn't I hadn't drawn a greenish robot I usually do them like gray or bluish or rusty looking so I thought oh you know what I might as well just throw in a green one and there's also a pink one here at the end you will see me do um later on in the video the next one is called orson and i started off with a very simple idea of having a light bulb as a head at first i wanted to make those three knobs um beneath the light bulb his eyes and they were going to be like reddish but then i thought oh you know what it's kind of cute with just having an ominous mouth on the bottom and just the light bulb for ideas or when he talks so i scrapped that idea and just used the bulbs i also have him kind of not levitating but flying on this um energy ball or something like that um i wasn't sure exactly how to create that in terms of watercolor or how i'm supposed to sketch out that but i hope it comes off uh, what I was trying to do, it's basically this condensed energy ball that he uses um, the rotational forces of it to keep afloat or something along those lines. Um, sorry for my incredible scientific terms, I am not an engineer so I don't know what they're called. Uh, but yeah, I think you get the idea. 
Um, the next robot that I have is my favorite out of this bunch and that is Felix and Felix is really really cute I really like him I started off with the idea of making him an octopus I didn't have room for all eight of his tentacles so let's just pretend that they're there in the back we just can't see them but at some point I realized they made him a bit too um top heavy so i turned them into squid because you know octopuses they're kind of more i don't know round and squids are a bit more pointy so i gave him that little um what's that called not a star the little thing on his head um point okay fine I, I gave him a pointy head and i really like him at the end i wasn't planning on this but i made him kind of underwater and i made all these bubbles around him and this blue background that was my initial idea but you know i thought it was really cute having a robot living under the sea and he's all rusty looking because the salt water and uh yeah red eye kind of ominous but eh, i think he's still cute <laughs> This video has a few duds in my opinion, a few failed designs, and a few robots that I'm not completely happy with, but it also has like Orson and Felix whom I'm really in love with. So that's just what happens when you have so much to think about and so much robots or whatever to draw and sometimes you could just feel a little tapped out and that's kind of what happened with this one and the last two so this robot's name is Coco and she was supposed to be kind of like a butterfly or a moth little robot thingy um, it's very simple honestly I'm not mad at it it's really cute um, it kind of doesn't have any purpose. It doesn't, doesn't seem like it has a purpose. doesn't really look like a robot either. I guess just the rigidness of the lines and the colors makes it out as a robot. But yeah, this was one of the more simple ones when I just really didn't have much to go on. Didn't have that many ideas. Um, I do have that problem. I think it's only natural when you're drawing every day or when you have to think of 31 props in a month that is basically thinking about them uh, every day and I feel like it's only natural that you get tapped out and just start trying to come up with things and they just don't come naturally and that is why i'm really bad at these challenges and that's also why i'm very surprised that i'm still going with this one i think drawing them out i mean sketching them out early on because i do have some designs um pre-sketched and then i just start transfer them to watercolor paper starting off that way i think helped me a lot more because if i had to think about them every single week i probably would have given up by now so yeah that's also why i kind of don't do inktober and any other monthly challenges this is the first monthly challenge that i've done and i'm very happy with the progress that i made in terms of watercolor i've definitely gotten uh, a few tricks um i've learned a few tricks i've learned how to handle my colors better and uh, i've I feel like it definitely improved in more than one way and that's I guess what's important to me even if I don't end up finishing all 31 designs I'm so happy that I had the chance and I stuck to it for so long um, and yeah I think it's a really great challenge whether it's robots or mermaids or um, monsters or whatever challenge you want to do I feel like it's very good practice even if you're not recording even if you're just sketching them out I know Inktober is more about the inks but honestly just sketching out some ideas for each day or each prompt is very helpful and I feel like it's plenty <laughs> now I kind of forgot to um, speak about robot number 19 who was Malachi I honestly I love this name I don't remember I think it was in the vam vampire diaries there was this Kai character he was super evil and you know his name was Malachi and I just associate that name with something very evil from that show and uh, from that show on and uh, that's why I named my robot Malachi because he looks super evil I wasn't planning on giving him horns at first but seeing all those eyes and just 
baiting them red and I was like okay this guy needs some horns he needs to look more evil even than what he already looks like so that's the idea behind him I'm super happy with his design it just it, it's it's in the details I guess the next robot that I'm doing right now is Julie. This is another dud for me. This is one that I just had very little idea what to do. And I just went off of the shape of a heart and kind of made her very curvy and cute. So yeah, and I made her pink because I haven't had a pink robot so far. So that was the idea behind her. And the last one that I'm doing is called Blue and I was playing off of the idea of having the blue screen of death and that is why I literally have a blue screen with legs that judging by the X's and P on his um, screen you can tell that he's dead because you know blue screen of death. So yeah that was a very simple idea again this was one that I was like oh, I don't know what to draw just draw something and I, I was cheering in front of a screen and I was like okay. Let's just do a blue screen of death. So that was the very simple idea behind him. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Comment down below which one of this batch was your favorite. And um, comment, like, and subscribe if you like what you see. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye!